Viral respiratory infections are the main cause. And I mean for infants, for, for school children, for adolescents, for adults, for elderly people. Of course, allergy plays a role. It plays more role in childhood asthma, but it plays also a role in adult asthma. And of course, asthmatic patients, they should be tested for their allergies so that they are aware what allergens may cause an asthma attack. So there are many different things which may cause asthma attack, and I think what is important for the patient is to be aware of his, her own asthma profile, asthma picture, what are the causes of exacerbations. The most important thing is to adhere to the treatment. The second point is to understand what means asthma inflammation. The patient should have a guided self-management plan which is individualized so that the patient can recognize the first signs of exacerbation and then the patient has an action plan and the caregivers have the action plan for the asthmatic child how to add on medications and when is the time to go to the emergency room. We have very good experience here in Finland. We had a public health program, so-called asthma program, and now we have a 10-year national allergy program, and we have developed for nine different allergic diseases guided self-management plans. And we have clearly shown that, for example, in Finland during the last five years, asthma exacerbations and emergency room visits by this method has decreased over 50%. They are uh, the type of asthma, the phenotype of asthma the patient is having, what kind of medication the patient is having, and what are the first signs of exacerbation. It may be coughing, it may be so that you are tired, it may be so that your physical activities are restricted, you may have nighttime coughing. So they, are very, they, are, they differ from patient to patient. And when you recognize it early enough, then you manage with your individualized self guided self-management plan.